the movie that triggered everything for me was Nightmare on Elm Street. You know, really. So, so I, I'll tell you, I was raising uh, money to make a short, stupid little cartoon when I was like twenty years old, and Lloyd Kaufman from Troma. Ooh. He, 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 exactly. So I would, they, he loaned me the LA office for a night to try to like raise money oh, to, nice. to, to, to make this thing. It was really nice of him. And, um, at the same time, Wes Craven was host. I had no idea but Wes Craven was hosting a, a retrospective of his work at the Egyptian theater, which was a block away from where the office was. And they shared a parking lot. So I pulled into the parking lot and Wes Craven pulls in the parking lot spot right next to me. <laughs> and I look over and I'm like, that is Wes Craven in the car. Next to me, I have to say something. <laughs> like, I don't know what to and do. Th- and this was Wes Craven in the throes of, like, coming right off of, like, the Scream trilogy, right? So yes. he was, like, hot. He was, was he doing Cursed at the time, maybe? You know, like that uh, werewolf it, movie? It was absolutely in that era. Era. So, uh, so he got out of his... I sat in the car for an unusually long amount of time because he wouldn't get out of the car. And I was like, I'm not getting out of the car until he gets out of the car. <laughs> and then, and then, and, and it's a standoff. It goes on for days. And you know, he was it's saying the same thing. I'm not, I'm yeah. not getting out of the it car was, until this kid was staring at me. He's getting out. Gets out. So he gets out and I, I get out and I'm like, oh my God, Wes Craven. Like, I, I'm such a big fan. He's like, yeah, yeah, cool. And I was like, no, I, I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm next door. I'm having a fundraiser tonight. I'm raising money for a short film. And honestly, you know, I, I like seeing Nightmare on Elm Street scared me. I saw it when I was five years old and, and it's probably why I'm making films today. And, uh, like it, you know, I'm just so excited to meet you. And, and he said, cool. And he, he, he was like, Oh, nice to meet you. And he, he took off. And, um, and so I went, I, I got to the, to trauma office way early. So I sat on the porch cause the thing wasn't even unlocked. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting there and I was like, I just met Wes Craven. That was amazing. And a couple of minutes go by and Wes Craven comes walking up and he's like, you want to have a beer? And I was like, yes, I do want to have a beer. And I sat on the porch me? with Wes Craven and had a beer with him while we talked about being, he told me about being a filmmaker and what that would be like and what, what the journey was. I told him I loved last house on the left. And we talked, we talked about it for this crazy long time. And then, and then he, he was like, good luck to you. I hope it works out. And he shook my hand. And when I pulled my hand away, he had rolled up money that he was contributing oh, to the movie. Get the Gave me a couple fuck hundred bucks. out of here. Wes Craven, posthumous Epic. congratulations on Epic that guy, one, sir. Right? God Unbelievable. damn it. He was, he was a shit. Holy fuck. Right? You totally got casinoed. I got casinoed. Because <laughs> you know that moment where they're always talking about it. It's like, you got to palm yeah. the 20, you got to palm yeah. the 100. You fucking... You yeah, got, he casinoed me. You got casinoed. <laughs> and not the, not the Joe Pesci getting hit in the bat casinoed. Yeah. You got palmed casinoed. <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck, dude.